Hi, my name is Janet Lee. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to tell you about the books that I read for December, which wasn't much. I only read three books. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you about the books that I read. So I'm still in the middle of reading one book, which is The Visible Life of Eurydice. I can't pronounce the last name, but it's, it's not Ed LaRue. I'm going to read that probably next year, in the coming year. So it's not that one, but <laughs> I have been reading some indie authors. And since I'm an indie author and I want to bring attention to more indie authors, because I think a lot of them write very well. And I want to get them, give them that exposure because um, I think it's important to hear from everybody, not just the published, the traditionally published authors. So uh, with that being said, let's get started. So the first book that I read is called Beautiful Lies by Melissa Monet. Um, she, she wrote a romance novel. The main character, her name is Zena. She is 26 years old. She's a nurse. She's a supervisor at her, the hospital that she works at. Um, she's married to a guy named Lyman. They've been married for two years. They met in college and she considers him the love of her life. Unfortunately, this guy is trash. This guy is horrible. He cheats on her and he's cheating on her with several different women, several, several, which according to the book, most of them know that he's married, like he's up front with them, except for one. Her name is Cozy, which We'll get to her later. So he's cheating on her with several different women. And she has no clue that he is a cheater and a liar. And he's an investment banker. So, and they both work long hours. So he uses the excuse that, you know, he's working late and he's all actually off hooking up with different women. So, and he has the mindset that he thinks he can cheat, but he doesn't dare want her to cheat. And like I said, she has no clue that he's being unfaithful. Like she thinks that he is just the perfect husband. So that the book starts off with Zena. She has, um, the weekend is coming up. She's off. She calls her husband. He's like, oh, babe, I got to go out of town for a business trip, which technically is true. He does go on a business trip. He has he does have a business trip, but it's not supposed to be the whole weekend. It's supposed to be like just for a few hours or something. But he takes the whole weekend because he's going to hook up with other women. That's what that's what he does. So she's kind of bummed about it. So she calls her best friend Chantal and Chantal's like, don't worry about it. We'll have fun this weekend. So. The next day, I think it's like a, the Saturday rolls around and she goes shoe shopping and she goes to Foot Locker. And while she's there, she runs into this guy. I think his name is, um, is it Zach or Kai? The names change. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's Zach. Um, and he's a really nice guy. And she tells him up front, you know, she's married and, but he's, he's, he seems to be okay with that. Um, she, he doesn't expect any, anything like he's not trying. Once she told him that he just kind of let things be platonic and that's what she wanted. They ended up going to food court and just chit chatting and eating. And they just, it was just left at that very innocent, nothing, not a huge deal. So that night Chantal takes her to, um, to a strip club. And Zach is there and he brought his brother with him <clears throat> and Zach is, he's 28 years old. He owns two businesses. One he owns, he owns with his brother, Joseph, which is, I think the pool service business, pool service business. He has a cleaning service and he has a pool service business. And, um, so he seems to have his shit together. He seems like a pretty decent guy. And, um, so they meet up at the club. They have a good time. Her 
her and her friend and him and his brother. I think it was another guy that came along with Zach. And they have a good time. And it was not, they were just innocent. It was innocent. So they, um, Zach and Zena exchanged numbers. And um, while uh, she goes home and we switch over to Lyman, he just got through hooking up with some girl and he come and he's, his phone is blowing up. One of his side chicks is blowing up his phone. And um, so he, he ignores her, but he comes to the, to the epiphany. He also, this light bulb goes off or something and he wants to be a better man and change his ways and be a good man to his wife. So he calls all his side chicks and he breaks up with them except for Cozy because all these side chicks, they knew that he was married. Cozy doesn't. Cozy thinks this is her man. They've been dating for six months. He hasn't told her that he has a wife. She thinks this is her man. So I think he wants to break up with her in person. I don't know. So. <laughs> so Cozy, she um, they've been dating for six months. She's really falling for him. She um wants to tell him that she wants to see him more often. Like she's really in love with this guy. So Lyman goes over to Cozy's house. Instead of breaking up with her and telling her everything, he sleeps with her with no condom on, which obviously wasn't the first time because then she tells him that she is 10 weeks pregnant. Trash. This man is trash. So he freaks out and she's like, baby, aren't you happy? I mean, and she, so he still doesn't tell her that he's married. He goes home to his wife and his wife goes, okay, I'm eight weeks pregnant. So his wife is eight weeks pregnant. His girlfriend is six weeks pregnant. So not six, eight weeks, no, 10 weeks. Cozy is 10 weeks. The wife is eight weeks trash this man is trash oh my gosh so he didn't tell his wife by the way that he got another woman pregnant but he knows he has to tell her eventually just he doesn't tell her now so (laughs) this is where everything this is the point in the book where everything just goes crazy (laughs) and I don't want to tell too much of it but I'm just gonna leave it there um the book I'm gonna give my thoughts on the book the book I will give it probably three out of five stars and that's mainly because there were so many grammar errors so many spelling errors I almost stopped reading the book actually but I just kept I kept going because I wanted to see what was going to happen. So I did keep reading the book, but um, it was an interesting book. Um, And I think it's a relatable story because there was, I think everybody can relate to knowing a guy like Lyman. We can relate to that. And we all, so we all, I think we all know a girl we met a girl like Zena. She's just head in the clouds. She's in love with her man. Don't want to see what's all the red flags there's in front of her face. We all know a girl like that. So um, I think in that sense, it's relatable. But um, I did give it three out of five stars. So, I mean, it was, I wish it some. In some parts of the story, I wish she would have given more detail. Like when um, when Chantal and when Chant- when Chantal took Zena out to the club, to the strip club, they didn't really give any details about what happened that night. It was just like they had fun, and it was kind of left at that. Like deep, like certain details were left out. And I wish I wish it was just more details. Um, 
But other than that, it was it was a decent story besides all the, the writing errors. So on to the next story.